everyone. God bless you, and we thank God for all of you. Good evening, good evening. We thank God for all of you being on both platforms on this evening, freeconferencecall.com and Facebook Live. God bless you. Good evening, good evening. Let's go ahead to God in prayer. Father God, we just thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for this word. We thank you for the living word. We thank you for every heart of the believers on tonight. We ask that you continue to be a blessing. Continue to allow your people to have an ear to hear what thus saith the Lord. Lord, I just thank you for using your vessel on tonight. Decrease me that you may increase right now, right now, in Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, amen. God bless you all. Psalms 31, Psalms 31, I want to encourage everyone. I'm just going to give you verse number 34, Psalms 31, verse 24, I'll give you that one, and we'll paint the picture from there. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. Let me say that again. Be strong and courageous, all of you who put your hope in the Lord. Beloved, it's, it's a blessing and encouraging to know when you read this Psalms, you're actually reading something from the fact that Jesus, Jesus Christ, quoted one of these verses when he was on the hill called the skull. When he was there on Calvary, verse number five, and he encourages us on tonight, beloveds, when we think about Psalms 31, there could be no doubt about the importance of this psalm. I thought it was a great opportunity in this midweek study, in this midweek prayer and study to quote from the likes of characters such as Jonah, to quote from another prophet such as Jeremiah, but also Jesus Christ himself. Beloved, it's a blessing to understand that no matter what we suffer through, no matter what we go through, no matter what it looks like, God is significant in our lives on tonight. Somebody needs to know that because Christ and who he is, who he is in our heart right now, when you accept him for who he is as our Lord and Savior and Redeemer, he encourages us even on Psalms 31 on tonight. And I want to encourage someone, even after we finish this midweek prayer and study, to read Psalms 31 for yourself, because he says in verse number five, into my hand I commit my spirit. Beloveds, I just want to encourage someone today because somebody needs to know that verse is nothing more than encouraging you because God is still in control of your life. God is in control of your life. And no matter how you look at it, no matter what it looks like, Psalms 31 is an important psalm for someone in this midweek. It's an important psalm for someone regardless of their circumstances, for someone regardless of their situation, because God cares for you. God loves you. He loves you so much that the Father sent the only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's what Jesus did on the cross. That's what he did on Calvary. He gave his life uh, for all of us. He says, and he lets us know, be strong and courageous, all of you. That's what he did on Calvary, beloveds. He was strong and courageous to give you life. He said, into my hand I commit my spirit. But all he was trying to tell somebody on tonight, I'm still in control. I'm still in charge. 
regardless of what you're going through, regardless of what it looks like. And that's why he encourages us. He gives us the courage to praise him. Somebody needs to know that on tonight. God allows it. He says, be of good courage. In verse 24 of Psalms 31, he says, be of good courage, beloveds, and he shall strengthen your heart. Oh, that's good, beloveds, because we're understanding in the midst of how you look at it in your translation and how we see it, God encourages you on tonight. He's encouraging somebody on tonight through the storms of life, through the situations of life. Be of good courage. Uh, when the trials have poured out all over you, when the situations have poured out all over you, when trouble has surrounded you in all ways, don't you know, beloveds, it's a blessing to know Psalms 31 is right there for you on tonight. Be of good courage because God has come along to encourage you. He sacrificed himself. He took the sting out of death because he's still in control and he encourages us on tonight. No matter how you are in your faith, we all have a level of faith, beloveds, but when trials pour out, sometimes we blink. When trials pour out, sometimes we blink. When the situations of life pour out, sometimes we stumble. We know not what we stumble, beloved. That's what the word tells us. And all God is saying, be of good courage. Hold on to my unchanging hand. Because all God is saying, we just need to require a little bit of faith, a measure of faith, the grain of a mustard seed faith. Oh, yes, beloveds. When, when the situations pour out all over us, when the trials and the circumstances pour all over us, beloveds, watch this. Here it is. There's no circumstances or situations to encourage courage. Uh, let me say that again. There's no circumstance and situation to encourage courage. Uh, why? Because the only thing to encourage courage uh, in the time of trouble is the living word of God. Oh, uh, I'll give an illustration real quick. You on the plane of life, and all of a sudden you hit that turbulence. The first thing that come out your mouth is, oh, God. It's a natural instinct. It's natural, beloveds. It's okay. It's not a trick question. It's not a trick answer. Uh, we, we have the ability to say, What's already in us. We all have fallen and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3 and 23. It's okay, beloveds. That's why Psalms 31 is important tonight. Because when you hit that turbulence of life, you won't say what's, on, what's already in you. What's in you going to come out. And when you know you a blood-bought believer, when you know you a child of God, I'm talking to somebody tonight, you're going to hit some turbulences in life. And the only thing to encourage you, not the situation, not the circumstance, that's not what is going to encourage you. What's going to encourage you is the word of God through your situation. What's going to encourage you is the word of God through your circumstances. What's going to encourage you is the living word of God through your trials and tribulation. That's why you got to praise him. You got to have the courage to praise him through your situation. You got to have the courage to praise him through your circumstance. Because you're going to hit a turbulence. And it's going to come out of you anyway. Oh God. What was that? It's going to come out of you. 
because he says, be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. Uh, beloveds, when we're weak, he's perfect in our weakness. Can I go a little further? Because not only that, we got to understand and be real about the situations of life. Good courage gives us the love that we need because not only do we get the courage to praise him no matter what we're going through, God is going to let us know as you finish the B verse of Psalms 34, 31, verse 24, it says, all you that hope in the Lord. In other words, you're not by yourself praising God. Woo! I'm just giving you the text, beloveds. All of you who have hope in the Lord, beloveds, you're going to just be like the cloud of witnesses. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, you're going to be like the cloud of witnesses. You're going to be the ones that's going to be raptured up. You're going to be the ones because you ain't by yourself. When you praise him, somebody else down the street in their house praising God because they hear the turbulence. Oh, Jesus. They hear the turbulence in their life. Somebody at your job, they might have ran to the bathroom because they hear the turbulence. Oh, that's real, beloveds. And so they got to praise God through that situation. Praise God because the living word going to come out of you. Oh, what's in you going to come out of you? And every now and then, beloveds, you got to understand there's a Psalm 31 in everyone's life who's a blood-bought believer. And you got to understand when hope is doing nothing more than telling you What's already being taught to you? Oh, beloveds, that's nothing but the Holy Ghost. Nothing but the Holy Spirit trying to tell you when you go through that jet plane of life and turbulence, you won't call his name. Ha! You won't call on Jesus. And every now and then, beloveds, no matter what you're going through, you used to have hope in every other thing. You used to have hope when you got in the car in the morning, hoping the car would turn on when you turn that key. Oh, Jesus. You used to have hope whenever, every now and then when you turned the faucet on, you prayed that the bill was paid. Oh, Lord. Uh, but put your hope in Jesus. Put your trust in the Lord because God wants you to be encouraged. God wants you to understand he died for you. Into thy hand I commit my spirit. Oh, the fact is, beloveds, and I'm done. Jesus was praying Psalms 31, and that's what I want to leave you with, beloveds. That's how important Psalms 31 is in the midst of the final moments of his natural incarnated life, his incarnation of who he is. He's God all the time. He was God yesterday, today, and forevermore. That same Jesus came down as the incarnation and in the midst of his last words in his natural perfect life, he decided to give us Psalms 31. Somebody needs to know that on tonight because you need Psalms 31 in your life. God tells us in the midst of what he shows us, even in the midst of David and the prophetic, what God is doing in prophecy and how he sees what he's doing in your life. Uh, he's speaking a word over you. I don't know who I'm talking to, but when you go to sleep in the last tonight, don't you know God is already with you? He's put a hedge of protection around you. He's dispatched his angels all over you. And all God is saying in the midst of a Jonah, a Jeremiah, and Jesus Christ, God all by himself, a sovereign savior, and who the Father sent. Uh, every now and then, beloveds, Regardless of every season, the weather's going to change. Woo! Woo! 
That's real. Regardless of the season, the weather will change. And beloveds, no matter what the severe stress is of the season, don't you know your journey in life is predicated on nothing less than Jesus Christ and his righteousness? Ah, oh, beloveds, I'm going to my seat because we got to understand. Turn to Psalms 31 every now and then and understand that's what Jesus did. That's what he was saying in the midst of he's the living word. He is the 66 books of the Bible. He is. He came and dwelt with us. And he showed us and made a way out of no way. And so, beloveds, whenever we need to find courage, whenever we need to see his love, don't you know it's a blessing? Good evening. Don't you know it's a blessing to find refuge? Find your journey in life through Jesus Christ. Because no matter what it looks like, God has made a way out of no way. So be strong and courageous. Be strong in his love. Be strong because there's no doubt that you too are important in the kingdom of God. You are important. That's why he humbled himself, God all the time, and came here to make a way out of no way. Into thy hand, I commit my spirit. That's what he said in verse 5 of Psalms 31. But all he's trying to tell somebody tonight, I'm still in charge. I'm still in control. I have made you important in the kingdom of God. Oh, that's good, beloveds. It's right here. Right here. Maybe somebody wants to know him on tonight. All you have to do is repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I thank you for a risen Savior. I thank you for letting me be strong and courageous in the risen Savior. His name is Jesus, who rose, who hung, bled, and died for me because I accept him right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Maybe there's someone that has a testimony, a praise report, or a prayer request. Won't y'all go ahead and give it at this time? Hey, Kendra. Hey, Kendra. Amen. Um, ask for a little bit of prayer to a settled morning. It's just difficult, more difficult for me in the mornings. I say about 11 o'clock, I'm good, but I don't really. It's so it's hard for me to get up in the morning, so I just need uh, just a little good and then I just wanted to give a praise report. Uh, Amen. I, I got a, a married raise on. While everybody else is, is getting fired, and I'm on a uh, merit raise on my job, so that's allowing us to be able to, you know, keep our bills current during and what's going on. So I just wanted to give a prayer report on that, and then just ask for a little help for myself uh, to be able to get up early in the morning to be able to, you know, join the Sunday school lesson in the morning. Amen. Amen, Kendra. And Amen, and also <laughs> Amen. And and thank you for the praise report. But uh, <laughs> uh also, how's uh, Mother Jones doing? Your uh your family member, Sister Jones. Medisa. She's doing much better. She's home now. She's doing much better. They they got her on a different uh, blood pressure medication that's helped her a lot. And uh, the last report I got was that she was at home and she's doing much better. Amen. So, you know, thank the Lord for her getting, getting over that. 
Amen. 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 Well, we definitely going to lift up prayers in, in everything you re, you brought out on tonight. But, but you know, you're not by yourself because he says, be strong and courageous. All of, all you who put your hope in God. So your hope is still in God because you're not by yourself. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Anyone else? Anyone else? Hey, Pastor Smith, this is Bridget. Hey, Bridget. Hey, Bridget. Hey, First Lady. Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, I'm just going to do a shout out today to Faith Christian and to First Lady for, uh, you know, having the uh, media platform for I'm with you all through the week with the, with the um, Tuesday, the prayers that you have through the weeks and Sunday services, um, you know, because of my time difference, but I just want to advance, thank you to the Lord, because, um, you know, being connected with you all, and um, being able to be on here on Wednesdays, and, um, you know, hear the word in different, um, you know, sessions that you have, um, I'm still facing a few tests. Um, since I was diagnosed with the COVID back in May, but yes. I just already believe that God, you know, He is our care best for me. Yes. And um, so I just want to thank Him in advance and, and thank you all too for, you know, always keeping all of us, you know, covered in prayer. And uh, um, it's just much appreciated. Amen. 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 Thank you, Bridget. And, Amen. and we thank God for you and your husband. And um, we we just want to um, uh, keep y'all in prayer also with that uh, COVID. We're going to lift that up and also keep in prayer for, um, I, I guess, um, what I'm hearing about being closer to the family as well. See you when you get home, Bridget. <laughs> she's, all in, she's all in your business right now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Ain't God good all the time? And yeah, all the time, God is good. Well, praise the Lord. Anyone else? Anyone else before we go to God and lift up prayer to the Father? Amen. Thank you, Jesus, in advance. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We're going to go ahead and, and pray. We have a prayer list right here, and we're going to touch in the name of Jesus. Everyone on this prayer list right now, in the name of Jesus. So we're going to go ahead and pray right now. Every name that's on this list, we're going to pray right now for every prayer request that we had on tonight. And we just thank God for what God is doing. We thank God for Sister Kendra uh, coming and sharing. Um, and, and But the word gives us encouragement through um, the Holy Spirit um, to encourage her tonight because God is igniting the faith in her. I, I just want to speak directly to her spirit right now mm -hmm. because the Bible says the Holy Spirit bears witness with yeah. your spirit that you are a child of God. And Kendra, you just need to know you are a child of God. No weapon formed against you shall proper. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Be strong and courageous because all of us go through trials and tribulations. And, and no matter what it looks like, God has stepped in and said, into thy hand I commit my spirit, Father. He was saying he's still in control and he's encouraging you on tonight because just like Jeremiah, just like Jonah, and just like Jesus Christ, our sovereign Savior, God is knowing that he, you are, no matter what the situation, no matter what the circumstance, no matter what the turbulence in life, God is first in your life. I just want to tell you that in the name of Jesus. I thank you for that. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for what the praise report is for Sister Jones, who's at home right now. We thank you for uh, that turbulence in her life. And, Lord, we ask that you pour out 
your spirit upon her in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the living word who's alive. Thank you for the crowd to praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the courage to praise Jesus right now. Lord, I thank you for Bridget right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you right now. Lord, keep on encouraging her. Keep on knowing that no, no situation, no circumstance can be an encouragement. But thank God, <laughs> thank God the living word comes through the circumstance. The living word, woo, thank you, Jesus. The living word comes through the situation. The living word, when you got the word of God moving in your life. Oh, Jesus, there's a praise that comes out. There's a praise in my sing. There's a praise. Oh, there's a praise because of him. And somebody, in all of you, God is encouraging you on tonight because there's a praise in your spirit. Oh, I speak life. I speak life. I speak life. Uh, because the circumstances, the trials, and the tribulations, we're going to go through. But watch this. He said, count it all joy. Joy is nothing but a praise. Joy is nothing but thanking God for what you've just been through. Oh, Jesus. Oh, thank you. Thank you. He says, all that hope in the Lord. All that hope in the Lord. Lord, I thank you for all these prayer requests. I stretch forth right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your love, thank you, Sister Vernon, let your love for the church move yeah, God. Yeah, God. in the mighty name, in the matchless name, yes. in the merciful name and love of Jesus Christ right now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes, God. Thank you right now. Thank you, Lord. For this midweek. Thank you for prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for life. Yes, In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Good night, all of you. Amen. Good night. God bless you.